what's going on people so i'm doing my little christmas gift videos today or whatever right so just knock some things out so this one should be fairly quick and painless because i'm not like wearing them i can't talk about all that stuff just mostly showing them off right whatever right kind of getting the word out there that they exist so we'll hope that this thing moves quickly we'll see what happens though because i tend to ramble a lot almost like i'm doing now but usually get a little deeper into it start going off on all these other tangents and whatever if you saw the last video the one about the grinch shoes you know what i'm talking about so side of the box down here right so there's the first one so you got some stuff going on down there and then if you look at the next box over a lot of this stuff is very similar some numbers get switched in and out a little change in words here and there whatever right but ultimately it's all really the same so I'm going to go through these, kind of give you some pictures and whatever, say what I think about them and all that nonsense, and then we'll part ways. So just to let you know what we're talking about, for those of you who didn't read the stuff in the beginning, and I totally get it, why I read it if you know I'm going to talk about it. This one right here is the Nike Pegasus 39 in the Dallas Cowboys colorway, right? So there's that one for you. I think there's like an actual longer name that's why I kind of pause. Oh, yeah, because it has Zoom in there. So Zoom Pegasus, whatever. And then you have this one over here, which is the Nike Zoom Pegasus 39 in the Bears colorway. So there's going to be that for you. Now, that's the whole thing, what they are. I'll give you a quick backstory, and then we'll move on into things. So... I was supposed to be going with my family up to Iowa for Christmas or whatever. I kind of mentioned that during the the Jordan 9 boot video or whatever, right? Supposed to be going up there with them, right? So I thought, okay, well, I'll send them their shoes or whatever because that's what I had seen that they might like or whatever. So I see all these first, bought a pair for my dad because I had got him those Air Max 97s a while ago, but I don't know, I feel like it's time for those to be replaced. And I got him the React Vision? No, the React element 55s the cowboys version a couple of years before that so you know I, I, I like to refresh the lineup every so often right so i saw these and bought them and then right after i checked out i saw these and i was like oh well if mom sees these like she's gonna maybe like want a pair right she's a bears fan only because like that's like the you know where I, where we live back in iowa that's like the closest team iowa doesn't really have any teams or whatever so i was like all right cool yeah i'll get these two i'll send them out there it'll be cool and then I thought, well, if once her sister sees them, she's going to want a pair, probably. So I picked her up a pair, right? Because they're, they're cheap, you know? Stuff like this, the price is low, and there's always, like, deals and such, right? Because they're a little more lenient with whatever discount codes they let you throw on them. So I was like, all right, well, that's cool, right? So I think they were, like, 30 40% off or something, and they were, like, brand new, right? So I was like, all right, cool. But the thing that kind of sucks in some ways, like, when I was up there with my aunt, like, a couple weeks ago or whatever... She was a huge fan of like these Adelaide 22s or whatever. So I just bought her a pair of those. So I could have just like not bought these. And I think that would have been fine because these things don't come super cheap. Either way. So now you know why we're here talking about these or whatever, right? Though I'm still not quite sure why my dad is such a big Dallas Cowboys fan. But he is. It's why we went to WrestleMania this year. because It was at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. So going in here looking at these, right? I'm just going to get you some pictures in there while I talk about them. So these Dallas Cowboys shoes, these Pegasus 39s, whatever, I think it's a pretty decent look or whatever. You know, you see on the upper piece, a lot like their past Pegasus releases. It's got this sort of knitted sort of mesh thing going on. It's pretty cool. It's got some nice speckles over here in the lacing area and all that good stuff. It's not crazy with the branding and everything. You know, you've got like the little logo on the side, so that's cool. Each one, the well, each right shoe does have a logo on it on its inner area or on its outer area saying like whatever the team is. The other shoe has a little patch on there that's similar, but it says some stuff about like Pegasus 39, blah blah blah, right? And I get that like the things that I'm saying and the pictures you're probably seeing don't really line up, but sometimes I just don't care a whole lot. So just take that and run with it. And then down on the inside for this one, you're going to have the Cowboys logo and whatever. So that's pretty cool, right? It's overall a pretty decent look. So there's that for you. And then as far as the other one goes, again, same sort of thing. I mean, they're even almost, are these the same blue? They might be the same blue. 
I don't know. Like one says college navy, the other says not that. So I guess it's not. But either way, over here you got a lot of the same stuff, right? Same build on the outside and everything. You got a little bit where you can kind of see on the inside it's some of the orange under this blue. So that's a really nice touch. Again, with like the little logo as you get to the back end, you have the team logo going to be on here on the outside of the right shoe versus having like the Pegasus information on the outside of the left shoe. So all pretty straightforward. And then the laces are kind of built the same way. I meant to check and see if these were 3M or whatever, and then I like didn't. So I'm going to have to do that later, hopefully before I like mail these off. So I don't forget, because if I don't have the shoes by the time I do the editing, then all hope is lost or something. And then down there on the inside, you have what's going on in there, which is like the, the C for Chicago, and then, you know, all the other little circles or whatever. This one didn't have circles. Yeah, it did. Okay, they both have circles, just this one you can kind of see a little bit more. And then as far as the outsole, in case you're curious or whatever, the outsole, it kind of reminds me a lot of like some past React, what was that, the, the Pegasus Zoom 35 Turbo, which... I don't have, but I'll bring up in a minute. Kind of reminds me of that outsole in some ways, but looks like it'll be pretty decent as far as like running shoes go. I will say, I'm not gonna consider myself like a huge Pegasus fan or whatever, but the three pair that I've had, I have been pretty into them because I have the Pegasus 35 Turbo, which is a really good running shoe, like if you're going for like speed or whatever. And then I have the Pegasus 36 or something trail and then the pegasus trail three and each one i even last year like that pegasus trail three that i picked up that was like my shoe of the year for 2021 right i think i put up a video about that if i didn't just take my word for it but either way so the pegasus line is solid i just don't seem to buy a lot of them but one thing that i will say that i like about how they change the things is that on the back end that 36, 35 turbo, whatever number that was, it had like this sharp point, you know, somebody looked at the shoes that I was wearing once and like, what is this goblin toe thing on the back, you know? This time they kind of cut that off and just kind of left it flat. And speaking of that, one of the things that you, if you happen to buy a pair of these that I think is kind of cool, on the inside of the box, right? They have these little like styrofoam pads or whatever. So these kind of like sit in there nicely. So that way, you know, you don't have to worry about it like getting damaged or whatever. Cause that could have been a thing like the previous one. Cause that one, the turbo, since it was like two layers of different materials, like the more pressure on there could cause it to split. This one, I mean, it's not the two layers, but having this in here, I think is still kind of cool just to keep the shoe from kind of like rattling around. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get you some personal thoughts or whatever, in case I haven't already done that. So. Overall, just looking at these things for what they are and all that stuff, I think they both look really nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a big football fan in any way, so I'm not going to be going after a pair for me or whatever, but they did release like a lot of pairs from what I saw as far as like a lot of teams or whatever. So probably if you're into that, into football, there's probably a team that you would be into. And these, I have had them a little while. I did the Instagram live unboxing, what feels like like two or three months ago but they might still be lingering around i i saw them on fanatics i also saw them on nike.com so you can probably check both and maybe some of the less popular teams will still be around or whatever hopefully for a pretty decent deal because i think i'm guessing 140 to 120 was like the retail price and then you know knock that down by however much for whatever discount you're able to pull off but they're light they're breathable I mean, I don't think either of my parents are really like running a whole lot, but I do like running shoes for just casual wear. Sometimes unless they're too tuned into being a running shoe, then it can be a little weird. Like I don't care for those 35 turbos as a walking shoe, but running fine. Something like this, I think casual wear will be okay because it's not too deep into like the running spectrum. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, as I always say, wash it again until it does make sense. And eventually you'll either give up or it will make sense. So there's gonna be that. But I don't know really what else there is to say about these. Again, I can't speak on the sizing because I didn't wear these or whatever. But from what I'm looking at, they look similarly sized to other things that I've bought them as far as like this type of shoe. So I'm gonna guess that they're true to size and hope that they're true to size because I bought them in true to size. We'll see what happens, right? 
But I think that's it for me. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up because I've said everything I needed to say. So from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I am now done with actual recording for reviews for this weekend, which is fantastic. I feel like I nailed each one of them. And I say that with no, no confidence whatsoever, but I did them. So I think that deserves some kind of applause, right? Go ahead, go ahead, clap. Either way, later people. Okay, so we have shoes, that's a 10. That's how we know who's shoes. Hey! Yeah, these are the Dallas Cowboys, yeah. but they're the same shoes, but the same. Oh.